Hey everybody, I'm making a DC Superheroes tier list, let's go. The tiers are S, A, B, C, D, and TRASH! Okay, okay, uh, let's get this started. So let's get the trash out of the way. First up, we got Zack Snyder's Superman. I liked Henry Cavill's acting, but Zack Snyder was just not it. Next up, we got Zack Snyder's Batman. He literally made him kill, so yeah. And then we got Flash acted by Ezra Miller, or should I say Ezra Midler? Anyway, next up we got Red Hood, and he's honestly an easy S tier. Next up we got Batman from the Injustice Universe, and I loved his character, so I'm gonna go up ahead and put him in S tier. Here we got Injustice Green Lantern, I love his journey from all of the Green Lanterns dying, Hal Jordan being the only one, and him being a Yellow Lantern, so I'm gonna put him in A tier. Now we got Tim Drake Robin, and he's the best at being Robin, so I'm gonna put him in A tier. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Now we got Aquaman, and honestly, he's never really piqued my interest, so I'm just gonna put him in B tier. Next we got Artemis, and I really liked her in Young Justice, so I'm gonna put her in A tier. Now we got Mr. Terrific, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't know much about him. I mean, I've seen him in the DCAU, and he's gonna be in James Gunn's new universe. But I just don't know much about him, so I'm gonna put him in C tier. Next up, we got Injustice Superman, and I love Injustice, probably because I love Mortal Kombat 2, but, uh, you know, you know. That's why I'm gonna have to put him in S tier. Okay, so on my list it says that Hawk Girl is next, and I don't really know much about her, but I saw her in the DCAU, so I'm gonna put her in B tier. Now we got Damian Wayne, and normally I would put him in D tier because, you know, he's an annoying little brat. But he's honestly kinda gotten better, so yeah, I'm gonna put him in C tier. Now we've gotten my boy Nightwing! He's just such a good character. Easy S tier, like, it's so easy. If you don't agree, uh, that's your own opinion, so, uh, I guess that's okay. Next up, we got the best Green Lantern, Kyle Rayner. He once put on all of the lantern rings at the same exact time. How cool is that? S tier. Next up, we got Jon Stewart. Now, I think he's a bit overrated, but he's still an amazing character. So, I'm gonna put him in A tier. Now, for the final Green Lantern on this list, I got Hal Jordan. Without question, S tier. Like, no question at all. I don't think he's as good as Kyle Rayner, but he's, he's still just pitch perfect. Next, we got Flash. Flash is one of my favorite superheroes. So, I think you know that I'm gonna put him in S tier, since I said that he's one of my favorite superheroes. If you know, you know, you know. Now we're starting off with the comic version of the Trinity. And to start that off, we got Wonder Woman. Now, she's had some really good character arcs. She doesn't really have any really outstanding villains. So that's why I'm putting her in A tier. Okay, it looks like next up we got Batman! Let's go! I love Batman. Batman is pff, amazing. And if you think that Damian Wayne is better than Batman, go somewhere else! So yeah, I'm just gonna put him in S tier. And finally, we got Superman. Right now, Superman is my favorite superhero of all time. We're talking about the comic version. He relies on truth, justice, and equality. His greatest comic run is definitely All-Star Superman. It nails everything in the character. Literally everything. If Hope was a person, it would be Superman. That's why he's going in S tier. I think I like the normal version of Superman than the Injustice Superman, just a little more. Because, you know, hope. And that's basically it. Here's my tier list, just so if, like, you want some pictures to see what I did and stuff. Okay. Hey, look, I left it here open. It's fine. So, yeah. Uh, if it would be really nice if you subscribed. I mean, you don't have to, but <laughs> this video took me a long time to make. And yeah, once I finish The Last Ronin, I'm gonna read Tom McFarlane's Spider-Man. I just really want to understand some characters. That's why I've been reading more graphic novel stuff than, like, smaller issue stuff. Oh, yeah, and make sure you subscribe!